Welcome back guys, Knackers Adventures. So some uh, some big news. We've decided to decided to upgrade the, the camping truck. So obviously currently we've got the Hilux, but um, problem being it's even with the GVM upgrade, we're overweight when we go away. If we want to tow a camper or a caravan or something like that, we can't because yeah, all the GVMs and gross combines and all that sort of stuff just yeah, just maxed out. So Unfortunately, love the car, but we can't do we can't do what we want to do with it. So, what have we done? We've gone and bought ourselves a '79 series dual cab. <laughs> not sure whether that's a good decision or not. Well, Toyota, good decision. '79 dual cab, not so sure. Um, fairly basic vehicle, obviously. Not 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 a very big vehicle internally. Obviously, we've got a growing family, um, but. The kids say they've sat in one and said we're happy we're happy so anyway so if they're happy we're happy we'll just push the seat all the way back and they can squish in <laughs> but anyway um yeah so we're just about to take delivery of it we've got uh we've, we've had a trucked up from brizzy here it comes now Lord, give me a I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. So we bought this one pre rego. Um, Obviously you need them pre-rego so you can do all the GVM upgrades and all that sort of stuff. Otherwise, yeah, you don't get the federal approval GVM. So we're gonna, we've got some big things lined up for this. So J-Max, gonna, um, gonna do the coil suspension upgrades, 300 mil stretch, four and a half ton GVM, four and a half ton towing. We're gonna chuck an automatic transmission, 200 series auto. That'll allow us to have the federal approval four and a half ton uh, tow capacity. Uh, with the manual, it's four ton. So with the automatic, four and a half ton. So yeah, that's that's what's happening. It's got to go back to, we got it here in Townsville now, it's got to go back down to the sunny coast of J-Max in a couple of months time. So can't register it, can't do anything with it until J-Max have done their thing. Once they've done their thing, tray, canopy, bull bar, all that sort of stuff, we're going to let them know what stuff we're putting on it so they can match the springs uh, to suit the relevant weight of the vehicle. And yeah, that's what's happening. So looking forward to it. Right, so part of the build, we're gonna do a um, car builders sound deadening kit. So we got the stage four kit. So we got, this is it here, car builders. Um, and a heap of other gear here, all your sound deadening mat. Um, another packet of the acoustic dampening mats. And then you've got all sorts of bits and pieces in these boxes here. So all that has got to go into there. But first of all, all of this has to come out. So seats, carpet, hood lining, door trims, all out, all that stuff in. What we're also doing is we're gonna get rid of the carpet and we're gonna put in vinyl flooring. So this is from No Bull Accessories. Uh, looks pretty good. That way, don't need to worry about it. Go and camp and mud and sand, whatever, everywhere get home wipe it out vacuum it out whatever so that's what we're doing today cost me about i don't know a thousand bucks i think i've got the pre-cut um acoustic vinyl stuff so first of all the matting goes down you roll all the matting in um the, the sound deadening i should say then you lay this other product over the top of it and that's all pre-cut to suit the 79 series it cost me about a hundred bucks extra i think but Looking at what they are doing on, online now, yeah, it's worth a hundred bucks. It'll take you hours and hours extra to, to do it. So for a hundred bucks extra, I reckon it's a winner. Um, vinyl floor, I paid about maybe four or five hundred bucks, three or four hundred dollars maybe, something like that. And the other day I was somewhere and I seen a guy had that in his car. So he had the sound deadening, put the carpet back in and then put the vinyl over the carpet. So even more sound deadening if that's what you want, but um, I'm gonna get rid of the carpet out completely, I think. That's the plan anyway, we'll see what happens. All right, let's rip into it. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go.
put linings back in. So we've done the, all of the roof. It's a bit of a mission actually, putting that, um, what's it called, acoustic liner, putting that down, or putting that up I should say, or insul insulator, this stuff here, it's like a foam, sticky back foam. Putting that in on your own would have been a mission. Lucky I had me trusty helper Rhino. Um, yeah, just trying to get it tucked in and stuck down. And but anyway, it's in there now, and it's going to sound a fair bit better if we have a listen now. Heaps more solid compared to before. It's more like this. Oh, yeah. So I'm interested to see how that goes, eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're onto the floor now. I'm gonna hit the floor. And I think we'll do the doors last. That way we can get the floor in, get that vinyl back in. We'll do the doors later. Go, 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 You got a mind. Well, been a bit of a mission of a day. Um, got the vinyl back in the in the back of the car here. Doesn't look too bad. Seats back in. Haven't done the front because obviously we don't know what's going on with the transmission, so worry about that one later. But I've started on the doors. So we've got it all inside here. And I tell you what, if you're gonna do it, just be careful of these sharp edges, mate. They are like razors. I've already bloody carved my hands up. Friggin split me finger open. Probably need a stitch in there, but anyway. So yeah, just go steady on the on the sharp edges in there. But um, all in all, it's it's not too bad, eh? Like definitely make sure you get those um, pre-cut underlay stuff, mate. That's that's a go. Like it's made the job so much easier. I, I couldn't even imagine doing it and having to cut it all. It'd take you three four days just to do that. <clears throat> the vinyl floor. I don't know whether you can get one that's all pre-cut and all the holes and all that in it ready to go for the seats, but that's been a bit of a mission. It's moulded, but it's not moulded super well. Like It's still, you know, like the seats are sort of, you know, you can see it's sort of sitting up a bit, but I've got the carpet under there and what have you, but anyway, it'll do the job. I'm going to put this door trim back on and keep going. A few moments later. I'm here at HFD Performance in Townsville. These are the guys doing the uh, auto conversion on me 79 series. Carlos, Dave and the team are in there. Um, I think Brendan's working on it today. So, but yeah, if you want anything diesel performance up this way, give these guys a call. That's what they specialize in. Turbos, injectors, tunes, custom exhausts, all the good gear. Auto conversions. If you want an auto conversion put into a 79 series, these are you guys, mate. They love it. They do them all the time. They can't get enough of it. Let's go and see what they're up to. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts. I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong. I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay last, stay proud. Never run an ass, never hit a What's going on in here, Brandon? Uh Bit of wiring, eh? Bit of wiring. Got it all tucked in. Starting to make it all look nice now. Yep. Make it look factory, eh? So you basically got to strip the whole interior out. Yeah, pretty much. So what do you do here? You basically, you plate up the, where the gear stick was. Yeah, yep. So it plates up all in here. Factory loom goes, ah, uh, aftermarket loom, wiring loom goes in, plugs yep. into the yep. automatic. Comes up through here into the, um, Oh yeah, your control module, yep. whatever they call that. Yep. Um, you've got to wire it into your, your foot sensor, your, everything like that. Yeah, right. Um, well, that looks pretty tidy, mate. This is some stuff you've been doing here, all this gear. Yeah, it comes in all along here. Yep. Got a bit of slack here. Just so, just so you... Oh, yeah, nice. Yep. So it all functions properly. Yep. But um, yeah, just tidying it up now. And then should be good to go. Should look like factory, mate. Should look like factory. Awesome. 
to be good to go. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and to be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose it fits, some loose shit, a stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. One eternity later Right, eh? so we've got the 79 back from J-Max and wow, what a job Tell you what, they've done a, they've done a spot on job these guys, I'll show you To my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crash it in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah. So we've had the 300mm extension done on this one so as you can see, they cut the chassis from here, the factory chassis, which is here. It gets cut through here, and then I'd say the whole lot gets slid on and all welded into place. So, mate, it's mint. Underneath here, they brace up the, the rest of the chassis through here as well. Uh, this is their super chassis, four and a half ton towing, 4495 GVM, so nine ton combined. You can only do that with the super chassis from J-Max with the automatic transmission conversion. So there we have it. Got the method rims, Alpha 2.5 electric in-cab control, remote res. With that comes a three and a half inch torque at stainless steel exhaust, GPF back exhaust. I think it's a 185 or 180 litre Dave's Brown long range fuel tank. Airbag man. Airbags, massive springs, fully fabricated and strengthened diff. Look at that thing, it's unreal. Look at the 35 inch all terrain razors. We've got the front here, we've got the billet radius arms, we've got them color coded. Springs. More shocks. Went with the J Max steering dampener. J Max panard. Yeah. So that's it, guys. It's unreal. Coil conversion just drives like a dream. As you know, we've done the, the sound deadening. Coil conversion. Haven't even got any weight on this thing yet, so. Be interesting to see when the um, when the train canopy goes on, but I reckon um, it's going to ride. It's going to ride unreal because it's it's really really smooth now. In cab adjustment for the um, for the shocky, so you can adjust smooth hard just with the turn of a dial. So depending on what you're doing, or you can put it on automatic and it'll just do it all for you. Yeah, so I tell you what, I'm keen to get this train canopy on and and get it out on the track. Here we are at Norweld, uh, it's a few days before before Christmas. Yeah, so 79's going in today, get the train canopy put on it. I think we ordered it about 10 weeks ago, but the good thing about going with the guys from Norweld is you don't need your vehicle here at all for any measurements, anything like that. So whilst we've been getting the chassis extension done, all, all the coil conversion, all that, all the stuff at ARB, all the stuff at the auto electrician, it's been getting fabricated, now it's ready to go. So all, all we need to do is roll in, they drop it on, wire up the 12 volt system, and away we go. So we'll roll it in here and they can get started on. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy so neurotic and chaotic 
Okay, so it's been a couple of months since uh, Norwell done their bit. Uh, haven't had a chance to film it, so I'm gonna, yeah, basically run you through the train canopy and then give you an overall look of the whole vehicle. So I tell you what, Norwell's done a done a smick job. I'll spin you around and show you what's going on. So, so there's that's what she is. So 1900 by 1900, uh, slightly higher to suit the 79 series. I believe it's. Yeah, marginally higher than your standard dual cab canopy. Uh, because it's on the super chassis from J-Max, the canopy gets the full extension out to the back of the tray here. Normally they'll finish 300 mil short, but super chassis gets the full, the full tray and canopy. Uh, on this side here, we've got the big, big drawer, top shelf, very top shelf, nice area through the center here. Got the front toolbox, in front of the wheel. You can have that when you've had the 300 mil extension, it fits in there. Uh, rear toolbox. Then you've got the trundle drawer. It's massive, fully sealed. Jerry can holder. In here, uh, Norwell specific lights to suit the profile of their rear part of their tray here. They look really smick. Uh, your ladder, I'll just pull, I'll just drop this down. So this is all cut. UPVC I believe it is so it just pushes up flips around locks into place so no latches no clips nothing like that to break very solid spare tire mount on the passenger side same deal and you've got the smaller drawer on this side with your uh, with your shelf uh, the other shelf above here and uh, we've gone for the ingle 100 and 10 litre fridge, I believe, 100, 110 litre upright. Uh, yeah, so there you go. With this system, we got the Anadrive Extreme wiring, uh, 12 volt package. So basically 40 plus DC DC in there. You got your 60, 60 AC charger, Cy Marine panel there, various outlets, all your breakers. Uh, on this side is your solar input 12 volt output uh, hidden in behind here is a 200 amp hour and a drive lithium battery your isolator for your your batteries there we'll go back around this side with a 2000 watt and a drive inverter and a couple more outputs there so awesome bit of kit by Norweld these guys know what they're doing like I said you just roll the car in, they boulder on, roll the car out. So yeah, it's, um, it's very, very cool. We've, we've already done a, a, a bit of a trip in it, so it's, it's not looking brand new like it was a couple of months ago, but that's what they're designed to do, get out there and get used. So I'll run you through quickly what's going on with the rest of the vehicle. So as you know, from the earlier part of the video, um, J-Max Super Chassis, 4495 GVM, uh, four and a half tonne brake tone capacity, 8995 gross combined. So 35 inch tyres, four inch lift. So it, it is a big rig. Definitely no underground shopping centre car parks with this one. Even struggled getting through the Maccas drive through. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we, we didn't, we didn't build it to go through Maccas, we built it to go off road. So and it, and it certainly does that. We've proven that already. So. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an awesome bit of kit and um, look forward to showing you around. So we've got uh, ARB 79 series bull bar with the oversized tubing here. We've got some steady, I think they're X-Pro lights, I think they call them. Run the 13,000 pound winch at the front. Safari Armax snorkel, clear view next gen mirrors, ARB base rack up there. ARB uh, treads, um, got the Wiggly Engineering, front mud flaps, these things are wicked. Because we're running the Clearview power fold steps, um, there's no protection from, from stone chips hitting the side of the car, so we've gone for, the, gone for these and, and they are smick, so well done to Wiggly Engineering, they do a bloody good job at those. Clearview power folds, like I said, they're cool. Um, before we put them on, you know, the car's quite high. It was about 700 millimetres high. So, it, you know, it's, it's pretty, um, 
it's pretty big to climb in and out of. It's got four inch lift with 35 inch tyres, so it's fairly massive. Just went for some OCAM uh, weather protectors on the windows. They're, they're pretty cool, they just stick on, fairly basic. So on the rear here, we've gone for a rear winch. Obviously, the J-Max chassis accepts a rear winch, uh, another 13,000 pound runver. Wasn't sure I was going to use it. A few people said, oh, you'll never use it, you'll never use it. i tell you what, we've used it, and it's, it's excellent. So, yeah, if, if you're in trouble or if you've got someone behind you that's in trouble, you can winch them straight out. Uh, if anything lets go, it doesn't really matter. It hits the back of the canopy rather than going through your windscreen. So, so that's pretty cool. So up top, uh, we've gone for the Bush Company 270-degree max awning, which is which is excellent. It's freestanding. You don't really need to run out any ropes. We've used it a couple of times now and no dramas at all. Uh, I think basically the strength of your bracketings is going to be the weak point, not, not the awning. So, so as you can see here, Norwell rooftop tent bracket and your awning bracket. Slide those powder coated textured satin black. So it looks like a bit of a factory finish, I guess. Looks really cool, I thought. Run through a few things inside the vehicle. So the guys at Autobahn and Townsville hooked us up with Alpine head unit. I really like this one because it basically, it looks like a factory a factory setup. It's got a fascia, it goes all the way to the top. Yeah, it looks, looks really factory and that's the sort of look we wanted to go for. We didn't want it to, didn't want it to stand out, didn't want anything to look like a sore thumb. So, so we decided to go for that sort of factory interior look rather than going for wild colours and all that sort of stuff. And I think, I think it looks really good. Uh, Alpine, Alpine door pods. So once again, they just look like a factory Toyota, Toyota um, door pod. So they look really cool, I think. One stone armrests. I thought these were a bit of a gimmick, but mate, I'll tell you what, since I've had them, I'll tell you what, you will not you will not go without a set once you've got one of these cars because there's just nowhere to put your arm on the side. So we chucked some aftermarket seats in. Uh, we've got the Department of Interior uh, console up the top here. That's really cool. And uh, in the, in the uh, roof console, we've gone for the GME TX4500 PTT, push to talk. So down here, press that button to talk don't need the remote control with the cord hanging down here so that's pretty cool there's your microphone for that we've also had the ute bush wrap too so as you can see a bit of an edge there we had that we had the kit set up 79 series dual cab kit from bush wraps plus i also got uh, a few extra meters and we put some on the bonnet from there to there and we also chuck some on the side of the canopy and on the on the toolboxes so through here, all through there. Yeah, so hopefully that uh, does a good job of protecting it. On the back here, we got the Julka hot water system <laughs> quick release bracket mounted to the jerry can holder. So that, that's, that's awesome. So we basically sit the gas bottle in here, strap it down, hook everything up to here. Around here, we got the core off-road fold out shower tent bracket with the Julka shower tent on it. So that works really well. Unzip, drops, bang, drops out here. And hot water system there, shower right here. Absolutely perfect for what we do. Had to get a, uh, like a little extra bracket fabricated for the back because what was happening, because there's overhang on the back of the rooftop tent here, the whole thing was twisting. So the actual, bracket was like hanging down 70 millimeters or 75 millimeters on this end so in order to reduce that flex i went and got this uh bracket fabricated then i wrapped aligned it with some of that 2k spray can so we couldn't move the fold out bracket any closer this way because it was obviously hitting the strut of the rooftop tent so hence the reason why it had to overhang on this end here but in saying that too it couldn't have really gone too much further that way because then your door, when it's open, hits it. But now it's really rigid and it doesn't hang down. So yeah, that works really well. So I just added this the other day. It's not a Norweld 
feature, but something I added um, after a trip we did. So once the 270 degree awning's folded out, there's an arm that comes right out here. We wanted a bit of extra light because this is where we sort of end up setting up our kitchen. So I've just teed into here, run a cord just temporarily. I've got to bracket that in there a bit better. Around to here, there's your on off switches and that just plugs straight in to the lights that are set up on here and works really, really well. What we also had done is had Mark from About Auto Electrical install some buzzers on the canopy doors because, would you believe it, a week into owning it, I tore one of the doors off. So, mm, not good. So, I learnt from his mistakes, straight back into Mark, said we need to do something about this, and that's what he did. A couple of buzzers. I'll actually just turn the car on so you can hear. You certainly know about it, let me tell you. So, keys in, canopy doors open, as soon as you turn it on, there you go. There you go, so if you, uh, if you can't hear that, probably need to get your ears checked, I'd say. I've kept it pretty basic under the bonnet, I uh, just wanted to keep that Toyota reliability. Really all I did is went for uh, an aftermarket airbox, because um, they do have a, you know, they do have a bit of a reputation from Dustin, so, so I went for the psycho air box with the pod filter uh mainly because you can hose clamp it down you're not relying on any sort of a panel to compress it down so basically tighten up the hose clamp and yeah it's as, it's as it's as easy as that uh half a dozen bolts take the top off service it back in half a dozen bolts rubber seal fully watertight drain bung down there don't know if you can see that um comes with this adapter here and these silicon hoses and it connects onto your existing intake pipe there. As part of the J-Max 4495 conversion, they upgrade the brake booster. It's a Marks hydraulic booster which is connected through the power steering so that works really well. J-Max bracket for the secondary fuel filter here. Just a front winch isolator and rear winch isolator. So pretty much that's it with regards to under the bonnet. Just kept it nice and simple. We just wanted the reliability. Didn't want to go and put any too many aftermarket parts on because when you're in remote areas, you know, you, you can get parts for Toyotas everywhere. So as soon as you start putting all these other bits and pieces on them, you start to lose that ability to be able to, I guess, pick up spare parts from um, you know, anywhere in Australia. So just kept it nice and simple. So there you go guys, that's the uh, NACA 79 build. Took about 11 months from purchase of the vehicle to completion. So yeah, not an overnight thing, but definitely well worth the wait. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, share it with some friends. Hopefully someone else can get some information out of it if they're planning on doing something like this. So yeah, we'll see you on the next one.